Welcome to the Cabrian Chapel. Tips and advice to diminish your stress level and maybe save you some money for your wedding. My name's Scott. I've officiated and coordinated hundreds of weddings here at the chapel, at the Cabrian Chapel, and elsewhere in this locale. Now, one of the top things on my tips and advice sheet is keep it simple equals less stress. Now, you can have a simple wedding and still cost thousands of thousands of dollars. Um, dresses can be expensive. Food is the most expensive thing in a wedding reception. Um, but I recommend keeping it simple. Here at the chapel, um, our congregation is so small that we kind of we keep it decorated all the time. The chapel is decorated all the time uh, in uh, neutral and ivory colors, the pew bows and such. And um, we, we have a, uh, an arch back here and some other decorations that are neutral and white. So if you wanted to, you could come in and get married and not decorate at all. That's, it's really, uh, everybody that comes in, they tell me it's charming. It's beautiful, I've been told. And I really appreciate that. Uh, it's not all my doing. I can't take credit for it. There's other people that have helped uh, get this place to where it's looking great. And the people that steward the stewardship that came before me, they have to be appreciated too. They took good care of it, or the best they could. <clears throat> so, some of the best weddings I've seen were simple but elegant. Simple and elegant. Those two words, I love them together. Simply elegant. Um, that goes for your decorations. Like I said, uh, there's a lot you can do with a little bag of jewels. Um, there's a lot you can do with uh, some hydrangea uh, cubos and some tool. And that's it. You don't need a whole bunch. And most of these, like this venue, like I said, I've been told is, is beautiful. But there's a lot of beautiful places around that really don't need that much. Um, I've seen people spend thousands of dollars here at the chapel to redecorate it. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm, but this, this video, these videos are to save you stress and money. So I don't recommend doing a lot of decorating. At the chapel, I have taken it to myself to kind of design this to where if you have some flowers that are your favorite, like say sunflowers, you could take a box of sunflowers and buy them from your local um, supermarket or box store like Michael's Hobby Lobby. And you could take one and, and stick it in each of the pew bows and a few in the arch back there. And it's personalized. That's less for you to buy and it's less for you to take away. Because you got to do something with it after you're done, right? I mean, there's whole Facebook groups uh, for reselling uh, wedding items. Um, but we try to have all that for you. We've even got ring bearer pillows and, and flower girl baskets. All you'd have to buy is the petals and maybe the sand for a sand ceremony. We've got a unity candle. You could buy the center candle. And we have the, the two short pedestal candles. Buy, you could buy one uh, uh, personalized center candle and take it home with you. Uh, so we, we're we designed to be less stressful for you. Hey. If it's less stressful for you, it's less stressful for me and to save you money. So uh, as far as receptions, like I said, I've seen some uh, pretty awesome ones. Uh, I take pictures of every one of them on the uh, chapel Facebook page. All those pictures were taken by me. Well, I can't say 100%, but probably 99.5% of those pictures on the chapel, uh, Cabrian Chapel Facebook page. Um, that were taken by me and some of them were uh, awesome uh, you get a little mirror or, or a mirrored tray with uh, a candle in the middle of it uh, and sprinkle some jewels around I mean it's something simple and elegant like that it's gorgeous uh, so that almost um, plugs into one of my previous videos uh, Pinterest is awesome, but there's a lot of stuff, and you got to be mindful about if it, you get a lot of stuff, it becomes complicated. 
and complicated usually equals stress. So keep it si simple and elegant. I'd get on Google and Google simple and elegant weddings. There's a bunch of cool stuff on there. Or just take the venue as it is and take your colored flowers and just drop them around. You get buy buy some uh, at a good price at a Walmart or somewhere. Sprinkle your flowers and your petals around, and there you go. And it doesn't cost very much. Um, the folks that are going to be your guests, what do you think they're going to remember about your wedding? I mean, you want it to be beautiful, but your venue's probably already pretty. So you want to sprinkle some of your personality around there, which could be your colored flowers. A lot of guests won't remember all those party favors that you spent the night before wrapping and, and putting candy in and, or, or, you know, tying and all that stuff. They may, they may not remember those. So um, you're going to be bu you're busy uh, planning and working up to your uh, wedding day. You know, time favors the night before. If you want to do it and you get a joy out of it, I recommend you go ahead and do it. But a lot of people have stayed up till 2 o'clock in the morning the night before their wedding getting party favors ready that they're going to put on their uh, table that uh, a lot of folks may not remember. So um, that's, that's what we end up with anyway, isn't it? Just memories. And... You can't remember everything. The people are going to remember you. They're going to remember your smile. They're going to remember you walking elegantly down the aisle. That's what they're going to remember. Um, so try to keep in mind, what are people actually going to remember about your wedding? So I recommend simple and elegant. Save stress, save money. Thanks for watching. I'm going to ask you again. Subscribe and ring that chapel bell down there. Thank you.